Thanks. Hi, my name is Deborah Gonzalez. I'm the director of the Immigration Clinic. I'm here to talk to you a little bit about um, the clinic. So the clinic is composed of eight credits. Um, there are three components to the clinic. One of them is representing live clients. The second one is a class component. And the third part of it is community service. Um, so the clinic is modeled like a law firm wherein you, the student, will be the actual attorney in the case representing um, clients that we have at the clinic under my supervision. Um, the, there's no prerequisite for the immigration clinic, so once you are a, I believe, a spring semester 2L, you can then apply for, um, for the immigration clinic. You will be required to be at the clinic at least three days a week, so you want to make sure that you plan your schedule carefully so that you have freed yourself of three days so that you could be at the clinic and then also attending court as we will be having some court appearances. Class meets twice per week for an hour and 40 minutes um, each class. Um, and so the, the types of cases that we handle at the immigration clinic are uh, removal cases and also affirmative immigration cases. We, at this point, have a lot of asylum cases where we're defending asylum at the immigration court, which is located in Boston. We also have a good number of special immigrant juvenile cases at this point, um, where and the student attorney, in many instances, will need to go to not only immigration court, but also probate court and family court to get a predicate order of abandonment, abuse, or neglect and then with ad order go to the Citizenship Immigration Services Office here in Rhode Island, which is located in Johnston, get classification as a special immigrant juvenile status, and then go to immigration court and get um, permanent residence. So with these SIJ cases, the student attorney has a wide variety of different courts that he or she may uh, get some experience with um, you know, preparing pleadings and preparing your direct and then oral argument and uh, a variety of, of other uh, tasks that lawyers do. I think the main thing that, that I hope that you get out of the clinic should you sign up for it is that when you leave the clinic you know how to be a lawyer. So not only what the law is and how to make a legal argument but how to organize yourself as an attorney with your file, with your calendar, with your reminders, essentially everything that a good lawyer needs in order for him to have a successful practice. Um, I, I think the one thing that I really enjoy about the immigration clinic is that we have the ability to change clients' lives. Many of our clients come to us from uh, a part of the world that is either really impoverished or where there is a lot of violence, and so people are coming to the U.S. for a better life, and we as practitioners have the ability to help those people reach that dream. So the immigration clinic really gives you um, a great sense of accomplishment once you've helped a client out. Um, and that's, that's pretty much it. I hope to see you at the clinic. Thanks.